Guys, welcome back to my channel. This is chapter 29 and here we go. My two first love. Study session. So down about everything going on, but hearing that Nos future was on the line filled me with a sense of urgency. In the hindsight, I think I felt like I, if I couldn't control my own life, I could at least help his. We spent the evening holed up in my bedroom studying. A few hours in, I could tell no was flagging. Okay, let's hear three impacts of the Magna Carta. Now let out a long sigh and lowered his head onto the desk. Crap, at this rate, they are gonna throw me off the team before we pl even play on our homecoming game. Don't say that. You're right. Every Everyone accepts me to fail cause I fell behind in jury. But I gotta ha prove them wrong. Hey, I won't let you so fail. We just need to break the material up into smaller chunks. I will make you pass. And if that means we have to sit here in this room all night, I'll do it. I lay my hand on his back and he looked over at me. Holding my gaze, I kept my hand there, maybe just a bit too long, and he smiled. Nice pep talk. No wonder you're a cheerleader. It's not hard to root for you. Why don't we take a quick break? You seem like you need it. He let out a sigh and stretched. I tried not to share at the toned outline of his body as he reached up, though I wasn't trying that hard. See something you like? Who? Oh, me? I wasn't... Staring at you, just brushing up for Anton. I was just looking off into space, right where your abs happened to be. Somehow, I'm not convinced. We laughed, and I could see some of the tension. So, I'm grateful you took the time to deal with my stuff. At least your stuff has a solution. I don't even know where to begin with the mess I have gotten myself into. You wanna talk about any of it? I feel like I don't want who I am anymore. Everything I used to take for granted has changed. I have lost sight of all my old goals. I'm doing things I never thought I had to. I get that, but change isn't always a bad thing. It means you're outgrowing the life you have always done. That's a good point. Maybe you should be have you should have been a cheerleader. Can you really picture me jumping around doing splits? <laughs> hey, you never know. If you ever do get kicked off the football team, you can join on the cheer squad. I guess that's one way to keep people guessing. In all seriousness, you are gonna be fine, Adi. More than fine. You are smarter, cre and creative, and determined. You are going to get everything you want. I am. You have been paying close attention, huh? Even if one of those things is a boyfriend. If you put as much as energy into your history lessons as you do. Finding things to compliment me on you'll ace that test, no problem. I had liked to think that these tutoring sessions are two birds, one stone situation. Speaking of tutoring, are you ready to get back into it? Consider me recharged. We continued studying and now seemed in better spirits. Before long, we had gotten through all the material and he was answering questions like it was second nature. Feeling more confident about the test. Way more. I may survive till homecoming game after all. My heart sank as I remembered I was grounded. No game, no dance. I wish I could be there to see it, but I am rooting for you. If I end up playing, it it will all be thanks to you. My body flushed with warmth as he tucked a stray lock of hair behind my ear, grinning. He glanced at the clock. It's getting late. I should probably get going, huh? Unless you had other ideas, like getting physical. Grinning, he slowly wrapped his arm around my waist. I definitely did have other ideas. For one, making out on my bed. I didn't want him to leave. I wanted to feel his arms around me, to have his mouth on mine. But there was something hungry in his case that told me he wanted that too. Can you stay a little longer? See you later. But I let him go. I didn't feel like 
द राइट मोमेंट सी यू एट स्कूल येस सो with the tutor you have got to stop thanking me after all i get something out of it too i get get to spend time alone with you nor took my hand and squeezed it a small smile played on his lips i like that part too looking forward to next time exchanging one last smile we parted ways little did i know at that time that my dad had been listening to our whole conversation shoot and now he knew that my relationship with no had a lot more going on than just tutoring good i hope so and this was chapter 29 thank you all